Today we're going to be building our own custom PC for robotics and AI development using this 4080 Super GPU. Big shout out to NVIDIA for giving this to me. So after we take the motherboard out, we want to go ahead and install the CPU. Press the slash down, move it to the side, then lift it up, then you'll have access to the pins. Notice the triangle here. You want to align the triangle on the CPU to that same triangle. Place the CPU directly over the pins. Now you can lift this latch up and bring this piece down. The latch should come over this plate and you want to press it down and all the way under. Then this piece should release. Next, we're going to install our memory. We're going to be using the second and fourth slots. Open these slots by pressing it down. You want to make sure to align it properly so you see one side has more holes than the other side from the centerpiece. On the memory card, you're going to see a gap here that has some pins missing. Take your memory card and insert it into the slot. Take two hands and press it down with some pressure. When it's fully assembled, it should look like this and make sure to press this to lock it in. Repeat the process with the second one. Now we're going to install our SSD here. So go ahead and release this to open this guy up. When you open this up, there's going to be a tape here that you should remove. So go ahead and remove that. There's also another film here that you could take off. Now take your SSD and see the part with the fewer pins. That should be on the right side. So insert it here and then use this latch to lock it in place. You can now put the cover back on by aligning these tabs here on both sides to these tabs here. Make sure this part is locked and secure. Now to prepare our water cooler installation, remove these four screws here. Take these two pieces off. Take these standoffs and place it to each of these four places. Take the left and right pieces and put it on top. Insert the screws and secure it down. Mount the motherboard onto the PC using nine screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Take the water cooler and place it inside. You want to angle it in. Use eight screws to mount the water cooler from the top. Before you attach this onto the CPU, make sure you attach the cable. Here I'm using the one that splits into three cables, but you also have the option to use the all-in-one. Apply some thermal paste and put it on. You may have to adjust some of these screws to make sure that these two align properly. Remove this tape. Take the fan and snap it on. There's these magnets here that just go straight to the two screws. Remove the tape. Next, we're gonna set up our power supply. When you get your power supply, there's gonna be a bunch of cables that come with it. We'll be using the motherboard, the SATA, the CPU, and the GPU cables. The power supply will go back here on the PC case using four of these screws. One, two, three, and four. By the way, if you want to print custom parts for your PC, check out PCBWay, the sponsor of this video. Come here to CNC 3D printing, choose 3D printing, drop in your STL parts here, choose your quantity, material, color, process, and different things that you need for your part. Come up here to the top and submit your request for review. Make sure you have it in this orientation. First, we'll connect the motherboard cable. Next, we'll connect the CPU cables. So for the CPU, use this A pin one. There's gonna be another one that you could separate like this. You can have access from it from the back. You also have access from this hole here. You also have access of it under the cooler. Or if you want to make your life easier, just go ahead and remove this to have easier access. It might help if you have a pair of pliers. Now let's do the cable here for the audio, then the USB-A cable, and then the USB-C cable. Finish connecting the fan and front panel cables. For the CPU cooler, we have two cables up here, one for the VRM that goes to CPU opt, a CPU fan, and the last cable down here, this is for the pump. Now would it be a good time to manage some of your cables in the back by using these straps here or some zip ties you have them. Now for the final step, you want to install the GPU. The GPU is going to go inside the PCIe slot right here. Make sure you move the panels on the side for clearance. Lastly, you want to get the power cable and connect it. And here we have a fully assembled PC. All right, let's power this guy up. All right, it's working. Now to get Windows 11 up and running, come here and create a Windows 11 installation media. Go ahead and download now and follow the steps. 
If you want to install without internet, click Shift plus F10 when prompted and type this into the command window. Go ahead and download your drivers here. This is gonna be specific to your motherboard. The ones I downloaded were these. And to get your GPU driver, search for it and download it. If you want to play around with some of the fan settings, come here to Smart Fan and you can set your own profile for your fan curves.